The Rook, Tyler Steen, getting under the skin of veteran defensive lineman Deron Payne. In a comical moment in the game to where there was a bit of a tit for tat after Deron Payne didn't get what you know he was expecting to get there, which was a rookie who has never played in the NFL or even collegiately at the guard spot outside of camp. You know Deron Payne thought he was fitting the feast in this game, and the Rook said, not so fast. Hey, the first of our third round picks at a clutch moment over six snaps inside of the two-minute offense comes out there, does his things, and helps the offense go down the field and score its first touchdown of the game. All right, guys, we're going to put those six snaps under the microscope. We're going to talk about how this young man performed in the role of that two-minute offense and what we can expect to be able to play this young man for the Dallas game at the link in a big, big, pivotal moment and spot. What's up, Cerebral Football fans? My name is Stephen Heider. This is Gate City Sports Channel. So the first thing to really review here is what I said earlier. The fact that we're talking about a situation inside the football game to where it's a two-minute offense. If you remember the sequence of events that occurred in this game at that time, guys, James Bradbury on fourth down, deep in our own territory with Washington driving. They try to isolate Terry McLaurin on him on a three-by-one set, and Bradbury had one of his better plays of the game there, thankfully in that moment, to actually get in there for a pass breakup. I'm not going to lie, probably had a chance at interception there. Could have been going the other way for quite some yardage there, but... We'll take it. We got the ball back. That's all that matters. But on the first play of our offensive series within that two-minute drill, that two-minute offense, our right guard, Sua Peta, our backup right guard at that, gets run over on a bull rush and absolutely got knocked to the ground. And I know he was feeling it because he came out of the game and and didn't come back until we got to the third quarter. So with that, we jump right in. We're in the two-minute offense. And I thought the first rep that we saw from this young man he was a great rep, which is he sets up here, and he's doubling to a player. He's helping out Kelsey. You can see that nice little wall gets formed there. Plenty of time to get the ball there. A little quick, short dump off to KG, and we're, we're cooking. We're moving down the field. We're establishing that momentum. But I think the funniest part of all this that I watched was the moment to where you knew that things had reached a boiling point because Deron Payne was expecting to be able to throw this man around and was not able to do it, which speaks to the leverage this young man plays with, the strength behind his play, and the fact that although he has not played in as a guard yet, when the moment came, when it came time, when it came crunch time, the scouting department and the coaching department were proved right about this young man, and he held up against one of the better interior defensive linemen in the NFL in Deron Payne. That is a big moment and a very small sample size, guys. I don't want to overstate this, but a big moment in that time frame right here, guys. I mean, this was definitely a nice little check mark for Tyler Steen here. The only thing I will critique here is is that we have no data from these six snaps to really talk about his performance in the run game, whether or not he'd be able to play that role. Can he climb to the second level and and do some things there? Can they use him in a gap-type style assignment? Those are all things that, unfortunately, because of the structure and the way in which the game went, in which he entered the game, we just don't know. We won't know until we actually have that film in front of us and can break down what will happen, which kind of leads us into the discussion of the fact that if Cam Jurgens, who has had the 21-day you know window activated, if Cam Jurgens is not ready to go for Sunday's game versus the Dallas Cowboys, you know what can we expect from this young rookie and Tyler Steen? I, look, I mean that Washington front before they start you know selling off wholesale their pieces there at the trade deadline. I mean, yes, I get numbers are numbers, and the analytics didn't show that they were a great team. They're talented, guys. They had a lot of talent on the defensive line. They were deep at the defensive line. They rotate just like we rotate on the defensive line. So when I look at a team like Dallas, which is a little different from Washington's front, a little bit more speed to their front, I mean, he's already been in a big moment. So we'll have to see how he lives up underneath a little bit more snaps. I mean, they didn't have as many snaps to get to him and to break down what he might have been doing break down where he might have had some shortcomings to test some things out on him. I'm pretty sure that we'll see that if he has to play in this Dallas game. We'll have to see how he holds up in that regard. But I thought the young man afforded himself very well once he received his opportunity last week. And I do have a little bit of confidence here that he's going to be okay. I mean, this is already going to be a future play. We drafted this young man with the you know the thought process being this is eventually going to be the starting right guard on this football team. And the guy currently playing right guard will be the starting center. Well, 
the guy who started this season as our right guard, will be the starting center eventually. So I'm pumped. I'm pumped to see if he gets in the game. How does he, you know, how does it work out? And, you know, does he show that he can get down there and be nasty in the run game? Because on, on his film in college, I mean, the guy had a little bit of an attitude to him. And I saw that play out in those six snaps. I saw the mean streak in this guy. I really enjoy offensive linemen in play down there to where you've got a mean streak in a guy like that. And they get after people. I mean, it's entertaining just from, you know, just a pure spectator standpoint of this. It's really entertaining to see these guys that have that kind of moxie, that kind of, you know, that, that thing about them. Especially if this guy gets pulling, you know, they use him as kind of a pin and pull dude. Oh, he would be interesting to see playing up on the second and third level and what he would do to guys. So, I mean, I actually thought he really played pretty dang well given the circumstances of the game. But we're also talking about six snaps that has not been lost on me. But let me know what you think. Leave your comments down below. Hey, guys, if you enjoyed today's content, do me a favor. If you wouldn't mind, hey, hit that subscribe button. I would love to add you to the Cerebral Football community. And with that said, guys, peace. I'm out of here.